as I was saying, welcome to this segment of Mario Kart Wii, <laughs> made by Phantomazing with custom levels. There's some uh, meme levels, but I think most of them are actually good levels, and there's some really weird abstract ones, too. So, we'll check out... I guess we'll check out a couple solo races. I'll check out level by level, and then um, I'll get to a point where we'll just check out, like, one lap. But... Yeah. So, here are the different cups. We have the, um, which, which cup is this? Alright, so this is the Nintendo Hire This Man Cup. This one, we got the Thick Luigi Cup. Head, head Ass Cat Cup. Nort's Cup. Boomer Cup. Boba Toucan Cup. Duck with Flippers Cup. And Pain Cup. So, we're gonna do Nintendo Hire This Man Cup to start. Because this has got the, uh, the levels that are most professional. I love that you somehow were able to edit that. Wait, 100 CC only? Oh god, it's Soul? <laughs> That's right, I'm player. Wow, this, this level looks, like, really good. Wait, Pepino? Was that Pepino? Oh shit. Everyone is here, including Pepino. Look at the characters. Okay, you know what? The characters are only different in-game, and not when you select them. I think I slowed down, huh? Bowser Jr. Wow, this this is actually a really good level. I've played custom Mario Kart Wii tracks in the past, but it's been a while. I forgot about that weird distant blur feature that this game has. Let's see. So so who we got? We got Luigi, we got Donkey Kong real, Toad real. Waluigi is real. Yoshi's real. Baby Peach, I think, is real. Koopa. Baby Mario. Peach. Wario is Pepino. So yes, I'll be choosing Wario from here on out. Bowser is Yoshi? Wait, wait, is that thick Yoshi? Normally it would be a, uh, use up on the D-pad. I don't know if I found that correctly. I'm going to check that out. Oh yeah, that works. It's Yagi from Yoshi's fucking island. <laughs> I love that everyone's a prisoner. This is- this is a really fucking good map. When will they add Sloot? Oh, they're too cowardly to add Sloot. Sloot, Biat the Cock Yoshi is just too incredibly sexy. <laughs> oh, you know, just having a plunge. You what? Having a plunge. To what, mate? Sloot Yoshi. Beautiful. Slootiful, even.
need to increase the, the difficulty. Never mind, I'll just get blue shelled forever. But yeah, I don't plan on doing um, all of these. Why did you sound like Wheatley for a little bit there? Oh, what? No, definitely didn't. I am not a moron. I mean, Wheatley. Carl, what are you doing, mate? You're plunging, mate. Having a plunge, sitting the sat there, having a bit of a plunge, right? Plunge. That, that sounds like something Carl would do. Pixies. Is this uh, using Mario 64 sound font? I've heard this song so many fucking times, and yet even just hearing a remix of it in Mario 64, and I'm like, what an amazing song this is. It doesn't really change chords too much. You met me at a very strange time in my life. Yeah. Um, 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 um. And then... Minor chord, and then, then that one. And that one. So good. It's got a couple chords in it. A whole couple chords. Any plans to do another video of listening to more albums in Mario 64 video game sound font? I mean, if anyone wants to make a pack, I wouldn't be opposed. Change the CC to 150 in the rules tab? Oh, that's where you go. I am shit with by oh wow look at this even the the fucking the vehicles are pizza Damn, I'm gonna win. click the red me option well hang on hang on <laughs> I'm assuming once you get in game it becomes Pepino. Okay, so, um... Weemfy Wonderworld? What? Weemfy. Fan-made server for Mario Kart Wii Online. Oh, okay. We got two Yoshis in this <laughs> in this one. It's for Wii and DS in general. Oh, I got it. I got you. Again, please allow me the pleasure of just being upset at Nintendo for a second and saying, there are still people that would love to play these games. Don't give them shit for wanting to play it, and making their own servers. Not if you're not providing a way for them to play it. Like... You're leaving money on the table... 
but also, like, just let people play your old games. You're still making money hand, hand over fist. Chat, what, what is... What the fuck? Oh, God. And then you have stuff like this, which is just so incredible. Like, the fans are keeping these games alive with map packs like this and doing an incredible job making new levels. Even if that last section of this level made zero sense to me. It's just so... It's, it's encouraging and heartwarming and really nice to see people, like, still have a community. Like, still be a community for games like this. Which... I mean, I was a little older when Mario Kart Wii came out, but I know this was a lot of people's first Mario Kart game. Or the one that they played the most of, just because it was at the right time. For me, it wasn't quite as... Like, for me, my Mario Kart was actually the first one, and 64. Th those two meant the most to me growing up. But Wii holds a special place in my heart. A lot of good stuff in this. Double Dash was great. I mean, there's just... There's a lot of great Mario Karts, and which is why I'm happy Mario Kart 8 is getting a lot of levels. I wish there was a little bit of an easier way to do this, and quickly. Let's see. How are we doing? That doesn't reset at least. Okay. But yeah, I would also like to see a new... Save state. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. What's the, the hotkey? For that chat. It's a ween. Oh, it for he say. This is the thing you must do. You must tell us all that for Midnight Museum. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This looks fucking awesome. Wait, who's this other purple character? I kind of want to just drive around and, and, like, go through the museum. <laughs> Was that Pauline? There's Link. Here's the history of Nintendy. That's that's really really fucking cool. Good map. So there's a difference between a map looks cool and it's good for racing. And this seems to have struck a nice balance between the two. It reminds me of Coconut Mall a little tiny bit. The, the mummy toads are a nice touch. I think that was the Pikmin rocket. Hang on, I just want to explore a little bit. Pikmin rocket? Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's just Mario Galaxy related. Just the hall of power-ups. Could do a time trial. I could. Super Nintendo. Oh, too late now. Time trial is also quicker to leave and doesn't need save states.
Shift F1 and F1 to load. Good to know. Luncheon tour. Oh, the Luncheon Kingdom from Odyssey. I think Baby Peach is among us. Yeah, she's if she's racing in, in the game, then she's among us. see if maybe Peach is among us. Mistakes were made. She's in last place. Oh, okay. That, that should be easy to see then. Hey! No, 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 get back here! What are you doing? No, no, no! No! Don't do it! Please! That looks like a purple among us to me! That's an among us. That, that amogus, that's an amogus. Uh, now I can't get away from the Amogus. <laughs> Big fat... Dump... Dumper. It gets, like... Dis... Pulled... Uh, in, into display, uh, right in our faces. What song is this? Slow dive? Hmm. Why don't we do some memes? Oh god, the back rooms. Check the red me. Okay, this is... <laughs> there's gotta be a back rooms in everything. But I like that it's kind of like a yeah, it's like a ghost house. There's multiple ways, like Yoshi's Valley. <laughs> like not the worst idea. No mini map either, yeah. No matter where you go, you are there. Yeah, no, I'm just destined for back rooms, always. 
This is my life. It's also the meme, but it's my life as well. Remember when the backgrounds were just kind of spooky before people started adding monsters and shit? I agree. I mean, I think the monsters in the back room makes it worse. Like, it's... I never thought it was going to become like a horror thing. I just thought it was a funny picture. Like, oh yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a weird thought. Like, what are these back rooms? When I was in the uh, abandoned mall for the generation loss thing, there were definitely some spots that reminded me of the back rooms. Like there was the hum of the like the neon lights. Maybe not neon, but you know what I mean. And then there was also some like just big empty open areas, like the. Um, I'm sure that the abandoned Sears looked a lot more backroomsy than it did after they took care of it. After they worked on it. But if you're like, when I was exploring alone, and like you're going through like a big fucked up, like deserted anchor store in a mall, yeah, it's a weird feeling. There was always a monster in the back rooms, but it's not really a big deal. I just thought the back rooms was one image. It was like, here's the image, and this is what it sounds like in there. It started as one image. Just liminal spaces and stuff. I don't know. I'm okay with a monster in the back rooms as long as it's not, like chasing you the whole time, and it's just kind of like lurking somewhere in the distance, and you maybe like hear it once in a while. That's good enough for me. Anyway, this is, um, Wooga Wooga Way, per the custom Mario Kart wiki page. This track celebrates the monkey meme and takes place in a universe where everything is monkey. The track name comes from the sound that is made by monkey. Chat, I'm imagining a world where this is the next baby park. Think about it. Never mind. No, uh, no, nope. What do you mean, the monkey meme? The concept of monkeys? <laughs> yes! The concept of monkeys. No, M-O-N-K-E. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't... I don't fucking know anymore. Everything is a meme. But no, there was, you know, the monkey meme. You don't, you don't know? Like live as a monkey, I guess? I don't fucking know, <laughs> actually. I don't know myself what it was. But it was just, there was a little while there where monkey things were just a lot, a lot of fun. And that was what I remember predominantly. Ah. Uh. Just a bunch of goofy fellow monkeys, you know what I mean? Remember Monkey Tag? Apparently Monkey Tag got a lot of maps. I was talking about that with someone who's, um, doing VR, and they're like, Yeah, Monkey Tag is awesome now! Can you lose on purpose so we can hear the losing song? You know what? I forgot to do that. I want to do that. Get rusticated. Death by Glamour? Oh. It says Undertale. So I'm not going to understand any of this. Alright, Chad, here's one for you. But I have no idea what I'm looking at. I feel like the chat member who didn't understand the monkey meme. Which is also me. To a degree.
remember to lose on purpose this time. It, I'm actually finding it more difficult to lose on purpose than to win on... ...real. I think I look like GigaChat. I mean, I think I play like GigaChat. The minimap looks like a penis. Yeah, maybe with one deflated nut. You put that fucking line in my head and it has stuck all week. Yeah, I, I know, me too though. Honestly. Uh, no, Chad, I'm losing on purpose, remember? Vinny, are you streaming E3 this week? <laughs> How nice it would be to have E3 in an octopus's garden in the shade. I just missed the feeling of E3. It was a very exciting time of year. And now, I guess we just get, like, random stuff throughout the year and stuff. Uh, Vinny, I think they mean Summer Games Fest? More like Summer Games... I hate losing. Yeah. ...fester. My left ear really likes this song. Los Pollos Hermanos. Then you remember to check Red Me. Phantom, can you confirm if Red Me is different before I go back? Chad is moving so fast, I can't even- Chad, can you stop talking for a second? I need to find Phantom Amazing's message. Damn, I was really hoping that would work. It only made the chat worse. Red Me is not different- different. Play- please play as Waluigi Flame Runner. I can do that. Okay, Waluigi. And Flame Flyer, you mean? Flame Runner. Got it. Waluigi. Hey, we're going to win. Okay, we'll go with Los Pollos Hermanos now. That doesn't sound good. Well, let's see if it's the level or if it's Waluigi. It's Waluigi. Not up to Pollo Hermano standards. It's just a meth lab. <laughs> I didn't realize Garfield was an employee of the month. Wait, 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 wait. A fucking minute. Were the items blue meth? Uh, yes, they are! Oh my god. 
Chat, you know what's weird? I actually had a dream about Walter White last night. I had a dream that it was an alternate dimension, Breaking Bad, where he and his family moved to some, like, island. And they're trying to live, like, a normal life. And him and his son were playing video games constantly. And, like, all the newest games. And then, like, they, they caught him, they found out where he was. And, like, he played mind games with them on a bridge. I don't remember anything more specific than that. Like, Walter White outwitted some, like, law enforcement on a bridge. And then he was allowed to just continue existing. Because he, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he guilted, he guilted them. And was like, I have to buy my son more VR video games. Okay, that last part I don't I don't think was true, but everything before that it was it was a weird it was a weird it was a very strange uh, dream. It was kind of like I don't want to spoil the show, but it's kind of like a recent show that I talked about that I enjoyed, like how that ended up going. Yeah, it was like just a happy ending. They got to live out on a, like their lives on an island. Vinny, you jump over the money barrels in the lab. Okay. Look at the Luigi Walter White billboard. I saw it. Walter! Some good memes over here. do a race as Big Yoshi. Yes, but hang on a minute. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me try this again, though. Waluigi and Flame Runner was supposed to have Waluigi running on foot. Thick Luigi cup. Real baby park. In parentheses, real. Oh my god! What's wrong with their faces? Oh, it works. It works! Is this an even, like, smaller baby park? Whoa, whoa, rocks? Um... Chat, I don't like this. Oh my god. Oh my god! That's the real baby park. Are you a baby? Or are you a Waluigi? Only by winning on this track will you prove your worth. Oh, this is awful. This is just truly shit. Now's my chance, chat. Now's my chance. Too fast? Trying to... Trying to 
stay away from them. Try it. Oh god! It's like impossible. This reminds me of that game where you played as running animals on the PlayStation. Wild something? Was it wild something? Running wild, yeah, running wild. Or Sonic R, same thing. I don't think that was on the PlayStation, however. Aw, oh, you ruined it, baby Mario. Okay, which one was uh, Dumpy Luigi? Was that Cooper? Dumpy Yoshi, rather. It was Bowser and uh, whatever. There's nothing different about Red Me Chat. Dragonite Island. There he is. Oh. Wow. Yoshi is so thick, he's slowing down the game. I love him! <laughs> he's amazing! Apparently you can um, get Snorlax out of the way by using a star. Very quality map pack so far. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying the map selection. And definitely not losing on purpose. I mean, I am losing on purpose. That's what I meant to say. Holy shit, Gengar. You, dude! That one Pokemon thing I played, whenever it was, where he goes, Oh, I'm Geodude! That's now my canon, like, voice for Geodude, is that. It ruined me forever. Squirtles. Ah. Uh... Eevee. I'm losing on purpose so I can see the map's detail. Reminder, this game doesn't have water physics. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. It wasn't until, what, Mario Kart 7? Those Geodudes got fucking destroyed. Wait, is lightning the way you destroy rock in Pokemon? I forget. No, right? Immune, even. Hmm. I'm beginning to think this game isn't canon. Dude. 
Is there another song for fourth place? But why did I get first? <laughs> like, Lakitu won that race for me. Thanks, Lakitu. Lumpy's Lively Lair. Not our friend Lumpy, right? No, this seems to be a different type of Lumpy. Lumpy Touch, you have a lot to answer for. Plumpy? No, no, not Plumpy Touch. Oh, that's weird. Lumpy, I liked your Luigi Dumpies, by the way. Lumpy did like a little series where um, he took the, the Luigi and had people vote on, like, post what, what he wanted to draw, what they wanted to draw on the Luigi, so they, like, became these fucked up, weird Luigi homunculi. But every time, apparently, the Luigi would start with a bigger and bigger dumpy. So, good job. Lumpy and dumpy. Lump. Alright, for the sake of being able to see all the maps, we're gonna start doing some of these one lap. Lost Ruins. Take note of the scenery as you approach lap three. Oh fuck, okay, we gotta do full laps on this one, I think. This one, you have to do three laps. Alright. A Triforce? Man, it's just, like, fun to play as a heavier character and just steamroll through an entire group of fools with a mushroom. Aw, oh, goddammit. Yahaha! Yahaha! Wait a minute! Oh, this is really cool. It's a really nice looking map. Great. My, my favorite moment in any Mario Kart experience is that again. Oh shit, the blood moon is rising. He's gonna be here now? Well, there's, there's, like, red goombers this time. Vinny, lose on purpose. <laughs> this has become a meme, hasn't it? Don't worry, next time I play Mario Kart 8, I'll definitely lose on purpose. Love getting wombo comboed like that. 
eyeing them rupees down. Take the right path. Too late. Could have gone under the statue. Oh, that was cool, though. Okay, um, next is the, well, there's the, the North Cup, which is alien-themed. We can do that. Let's do that. Area 64. I love this whole aesthetic. Speaking of alien stuff, I'm sure most of you were here when I mentioned this the other day, but... Um... Greg Sestero and I had uh, a long conversation about his new alien movie. And it looks like I'll be involved on a couple different levels. Like, maybe... Like, helping with casting and some other shit too, which is kind of cool. Nothing too... I'm not gonna want to do too much, but like... Even just getting, like, a cameo and, like, being involved. I guess I... I have the alien knowledge and interest, but he is making a movie. I guess I'll just shout it out real quick. Just because I want this to be made, but it is on Kickstar uh, Kickstarter. And he's doing an alien abduction movie. And there's gonna be, like, cameos. He's gonna get Tommy and... He's trying to maybe get Neil Breen in the movie, too. <laughs> like, he's trying. I'm gonna see if we can get Jack to be in the movie, Rem Lazar. I mean, it's just... You know, I don't even want to mention it publicly, necessarily, because I don't want to put people on the spot. But I just think that would be amazing. But the script actually sounds good. It's like... There's sections of comedy. It's a little galaxy questy, and um, even if it is like a, just a silly B movie, it just seems like it would be a lot of fun. You just announced that to 10k viewers. Yeah, I know. Well, again, it's just a thought for the moment. I just think if, if listen, the Neil Breen thing would be a lot harder, but he's gonna try. But yeah, there is a Kickstarter. It's called Forbidden Sky, if anyone's interested. I mean, don't expect Citizen fucking Kane. Ah, the French! It's not gonna be anything like that, but... I think it'll be a fun abduction movie. How much nudity? Oh no, by then it's much, much too late. I've seen everything. Well, I'm gonna try to get Norts in the movie, if possible. That's, like, one of my main goals. But it's not all a comedy movie. Like, there's comedy elements. In the same way Galaxy Quest is a comedy, but has also, like, oddly, like, weirdly touching moments. But I- yeah, Norts will be naked if he's in the movie. But yeah, if there's- if there's any interest in this movie, the Kickstarter goals are pretty cool. I know Kickstarter is a dubious thing these days, and I would never ask anyone to, like, do something they don't think is gonna work out. But... Seems fun. And I said, fuck it. I get to... Like... Partially make a movie with the dude from The Room? Yeah, I'm in. That sounds great. But we're still, yeah, we're still discussing stuff, and who knows where it's gonna go, but... Does Greg watch your streams? 
No, but we did talk about video games. He's a big Red Dead Redemption fan. Uh, he likes Inside. And, you know, he grew up with some games, too. But... I don't think... I don't think he's busy watching my streams. I have a feeling he's busy with his own stuff. Oh, hi, Greg. Do you think Tommy games? I would say chances are 100% no. Oh, yeah, no, well, he did have a Let's Play series. That's right, he was in some videos where he played games with an alien. I guess we could watch this happen. He did. He's like, no, alien, I played this game good! Ha ha ha, how you play? And then he didn't even know how to, like, like, move forward. Oh yeah, I guess I did steal that from Tommy. This map was made 10 years ago. He was like, where is vampire character in Mortal Kombat? But yeah. Yeah, I think if, if you could get someone from Troll 2, someone from, obviously, The Room, Neil Breen, Rem Lazar, all in the same movie, that would be fucking unreal. Even if they're just, like, smaller roles, that would be, a, like, the shit movie dream team. But again, the thing is, I don't think Tommy is as self-aware as he pretends to be, and I, I really don't think Neil Breen is self-aware about the types of movie he, movies he makes. So that's why I very much doubt he would actually end up uh, saying yes to a project like that. But, you know, it's worth a shot. Especially if you give him a good part. What's your favorite genius Neil Breen movie? Uh, Fateful Findings? May I don't know. Oh god, oh god, this level. Twisted Pear is <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, Double Down was my first Neil Breen movie that I saw, and that movie, like, broke my brain and made me never look at Tuna the same way again. I can't really choose, they all just tend to bleed into each other. I cannot believe you committed suicide! That one, where he's, he delivers that line, that, that might be my favorite. Oh, I don't think I like this map very much. Oof. I, I'm good on this map. Your fault for not picking bike. Well, I'm also not, like, good at this game. So, so don't expect too much from me. But if the map is, like, really narrow or has a lot of, like, fall-off points, I'm gonna be miserable. This one's kind of cool. I get, like, um... I don't know, it feels a little, like, earthboundy. We're just going through dimensions. You hurt me every time you go up a ramp and don't perform a stunt boost. I understand, chat member, but <laughs> I'm just checking out my apps. I'm not trying to win. I forget because in uh, in this one you have to press up on the D-pad. Which I'm so used to Mario Kart 8 where you just jump twice. I like that big fish though, that was pretty cool. Oh, now we're tiny. See? 
we're, we're seeing Pepino's dumpy. Oh, this is a one-lap track. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even look over at that. That's going to hit me, isn't it? Oh, thank God. Suddenly, piano. Guitar. Graveyard? Pizza? Bacon. Is, oh, is this a magic eye thing? Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's just art paint splats. Kind of looks like magic eye. God damn it. It's a weird ass level. Oh god, oh god, it, you have to race on the grass! Fuck? Okay, what am I looking at? Was Discord? Um, Boomer Cup. We'll go to the Boomer Cup. So Boomer Cup is old custom tracks. Probably haven't aged well, but worth showing where it all started. When they made tracks using fucking MS Paint. Check out a couple of them. Mushroom Peaks is one of the first custom tracks, and it is awful. That is one of the things I've, I've just, uh, been made aware of. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Code name Big Box. This track used to be a lot more barren, just like a box. Chat, does this Mario Kart have the most amount of custom stuff? Because over the years, I feel like I've seen a lot of custom stuff from Mario Kart Wii, and not so much for any of the other ones. By a long shot? Okay. That said, though, the HD project for Mario Kart 64 has to also be one of the most impressive fan projects I've seen. Now, granted, that's a little different than custom levels and custom content, but... Just the, the sheer undertaking... ...of translating Mario Kart 64 into, like, more HD sprites is actually pretty incredible. Wii was very easily hacked and early, and obviously hugely popular. I mean, I had homebrew. I was playing Wiiero, which was Liero, but... You know, on the Wii. And I was playing, uh, Super Mario War. Many, many nights did I have friends over that we played some Smash Brothers and then we switched over to Super Mario War. Wii Arrow. Um... God. Other things that I can't remember must not have been as amazing, but... It 
is a very simple map, and it is a box. Pipe Underworld. This is a remake of the former track by the latter. Vinny, you are stifling innovation. <laughs> Reggie is coming to your home to uh, destroy you, says a chat member, or something to that effect. To which I can only think, well, Reggie doesn't work at Nintendo anymore, but do they just hire him as a hitman? I'm living like a hip man. I was once um, several feet away from Reggie at some game awards thing I got invited to, and then never again. But I got invited to these um, game awards in New York City one time, like three, four years ago, and uh, it was pretty, pretty cool. And Reggie was there, and... Yeah, he was there. I mean, I didn't talk to him. I wanted to. I wanted to be like... You can't shut my channel down, motherfucker. But no, I wanted to be like, hey, man. <laughs> That's it. That would have been good enough for me. Hey, man. And then I went and ate soup at a diner. Reggie Mother 3! Mother 3! That's what I wanted to say. Do the spin! I mean, Mother 3! It is indeed a pipe map. Heart of China. There's a lot to this track. This track was inspired by a story the author wrote. It started as a regular old 3D overworld map for something, but the author decided to make a Mario Kart track out of it. There are a shitload of areas to explore in time trial mode, from basketball courts to underground bars. Got remade in 2019 and became all snowy. As for the Japanese text in place called... A place called Heart of China, it is deliberate and has something to do with the author's story, but I forgot why. Wow, okay. It seems like a fucking undertaking. Well, I want to just get an overview of it. I believe that there's a lot of stuff in Time Trials. You can spend a whole hour on this map. Damn, okay. <laughs> For the love of God, Vinny, please use golden mushrooms properly. I used to use gold mushrooms by just mashing the button, and then some, at some point, while I was streaming, many, many years ago, I was told that the golden mushroom is not to be used like that, and that you, in fact, lose speed, and that you have to press it, wait, press it, and the thing about that is, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but it's one of those stupid things that I read, and it stuck with me. And for like a decade or more, I've been doing that. Whether or not I've noticed any effects. You have to press B when the Pokeball wobbles.
didn't read the sign. Oh yeah. I use it properly. Here we go. I did it, chat. Alright. Boba Toucan Cup. Ports, remakes from other Mario Kart installments, past and future. DS Rainbow Road. I don't remember this Rainbow Road. <laughs> Vinny, wait, you don't remember specific things. Some, some chat member said something like, yeah, my memory is shit, but why do you remember that one thing from that one chat member? I have no idea. Honestly, just brain disease. And then every time I played Mario Kart, my overriding memory of the Golden Mushroom was, don't spam it. It's just one of those weird things. It... Chat, the meat prison has many limitations. There you go. Okay. Well, okay. It's Mario Kart DS Rainbow Road. It is, in fact, that 3DS Rock Rock Mountain. I think I remember this. Vinny, please remember my message. So your message is, please remember my message. Got it. See, now that we've had this conversation, I will always mash the golden mushroom. Which is, a, incidentally, a euphemism for, uh... Jenkin... The, uh... Making some beef jerky. Was this ported over to anything at all recently, chat? This isn't in Mario Kart 8, is it? Oh, wait, it is. Oh, it is. Booster Pass. That, this is, like, fairly recent, too. Okay. Wii U Electrodome. Also, in Mario Kart 8. Electro- Electrodrome. Like the Thunderdrome. Mario Kart 8 pretty much has everything. Wait, what does it say? Remember the entire odyssey of you and the $17 keyboard from Amazon start to finish. Yeah, I don't even remember that. I mean, maybe... 
the keyboard saga. We all know it. We all know it. Yes, we know it well. Of course we do. The keyboard saga. Well, the clown balls story, that, that's a whole lot different. That, that's like, how do you forget that? Okay, from Mario Kart Arcade GP. So I definitely have never played this level. So this is interesting. Where's Pac-Man? Pack the Sack Man. That's what they call him in Pellet Land. Is that normal? Interesting Donkey Kong noises. Kurt Cobain's skeleton dream. I do. I remember that. Oh my god. Oh, why does that happen? I, I guess it's trying to, like, go to different areas. Yeah, I remember bone noises and I remember a red skeleton. So. Some vague stuff. Duck with Flippers Cup. P ports, remakes of tracks from games that are not called Mario Kart. Okay, Diddy Kong Racing. Get ready! This is like the perfect game for a level like this to be ported into. Like, it looks, it looks really good. Goofy ass dinosaur. And it's a short level, too. It's not too long. I'll actually do the whole one, because I just like the level. I like Dinosaur. <laughs> Vinny, do you remember Gray Leno? Who? Celebrity? No, I don't I don't remember who that guy is. Sorry. Crash Team Racing, Hot Sky Hot Air Skyway. Oh, let's see if I remember this level. Nope, I don't remember this level. It's cool, though. I, again, people have amazing... just drive... and talent to be able to bring these levels from not even a Mario Kart game. 
Like, Mario Kart Wii has come a long way since I last played custom levels. Holy shit. This level made you rage? Yeah, but that's also CTR. In general. And, like, its particular style of gameplay and... Some of the AI in that remake, and I'm sure the original, just were, yeah, it was CBT. Vinny screamed like the spy in this level. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you remember that. M and MKR the house. What do you mean? M and M kart racing! Oh my god. Move over, sister. Approaching sound barrier. Oh wait, that was a different game. Move over, sister. Different game. Approaching sound barrier. Original um, file files were too difficult to work with, so this had to be recreated from scratch. I mean, it's just it's still shit. It's still a bad level, <laughs> but. It's a little less bad when you can actually, like, control the game you're playing. Yeah, Eminem's car racing is absolutely horrendous. design is so baffling, like... It, it's like, anti-fun, on purpose. And Dust 2. Chat, Dust 2. Holy shit. Okay, Pepino... ...is racing on Dust 2? With a purple Among Us and a thick Yoshi. Just think about that for a second, chat. Let, let that germinate. So VR chat. Yeah, pretty much. Put glass over that. Eh. I wouldn't say it makes for the best racing level. Mm. No. Rush B. One of the best first-person shooter tactical shoot levels in existence, and yet, maybe not the best racing level. still absolutely fucking baffling that it even exists. So here we go. Pain Cup. Not recommended for versus mode, especially the last two. Ah, what could go wrong? 1-1, one, one, but it's in Mario Kart Wii. The YouTube video demonstrating this track showed it forcing your camera to the side, but when I tested it, it didn't do that. Um... What do you mean, this?
need a bike, probably. Maybe. Yeah, but then you're just gonna hit a pipe anyway. <laughs> like, what, what's the point if I'm just gonna hit a pipe? It was Yoshi on a bike, maybe? Do running Waluigi? That would actually be perfect. Running Waluigi would work. Kind of ramps? K kind of? I saw the shortcut. Like I saw there is there is a way to do that. Fucking wacky. We like the pain. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, we wanna go back up there. Amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. <laughs> Perfect music for just such an occasion. Realistic coconut mall. Why is it doing this? What does that mean, realistic? What do you mean, realistic? This isn't realistic. You stop this. You stop this right now! Coral! Get out of my house! Coral! Time to fucking puke. Vomit, now! How is this realistic? I, I, I have no idea why it's called realistic.
the map is coconut shaped. Dutch angle coconut. Well, get it? Coconut mall shaped like a coconut. No, I don't. I actually still don't get it. I don't even care about finishing the lap. All right, um, we gotta do time trial, I think, for these next ones. It's only two. H-Man's death run. Oh, it's a tech map. God damn it. Even pros have a hard time on this map. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, fuck. I'm try I want to try one more time. 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 I got it this time. I got it this time. Oh, yeah. The map length is kind of funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Pretty funny. One more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but fuck you. All right, next is, uh, what are we doing next? All right, change course. Is tube dress. Not its actual name. Wait, desert bus? Wait, is that what this actually is? This map takes over two hours to complete. Waluigi on his way to, uh, star in his own video game. <laughs> oh god, it- it actually starts you all the way back at the beginning.
tube dress is an anagram for desert bus. God damn it! There are videos, videos of people beating this on YouTube. Time to whip out the snaking shrats. Chad, I think that's that's about enough of this. All right, so that was great. Uh, let me see. Here, we, we can check out a couple more characters. There's some that we didn't see. So Funky Kong plus Flame Runner. What the fuck? Oh. That's pretty radical. It's pretty funky. I feel the funk. There's something perverse about this in a way I cannot describe, and I don't like it. Alright. Mario plus the Wild Wing. <laughs> Harby. Am I gonna watch more Donkey Kong Country songs anytime soon? We'll- we'll do season two at some point, for sure. All in due time. Yeah, the coconut cream pie thing is gonna be real hard to beat. Hello, Mario. Bowser plus all vehicles. We did that. Yoshi plus mock bike. We didn't do that one. Who is this? Why, why is this familiar? What is this chat? Fingor? From what? Scrupulous Fingor. It, it's just some meme, I guess? Fake new Super Mario Brothers enemy? Okay, I'm unaware of that meme. It scared Miyamoto? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Baby ple uh, Peach. Peach. Let's see. Baby Peach plus all vehicles. We did that one. It's a joke cut character that became a meme. Understood. Okay, so Waluigi. Waluigi time. With the flame flyer. Very Guy Fieri vehicle. <laughs> Kermit! Hey, motherfucker, why are you dumping your batteries in the ocean? Those things belong up your ass! Wow, Kermit, I didn't know you felt that way. 
That's right, Fozzie. Your stomach fluids will dissolve the batteries in time. And, you know, well, they'll eventually um, break down into something. Wow, Comet. That is something special. Fozzie, uh, why, are, why are you talking that way? I've got a lot of batteries inside me as we speak. I appear to be dissolving. Goodbye, Kermit the Frog. Fuzzy, no! Fuzzy, no! Get those out of your ass! Ah, Fuzzy! What are you doing? Oh, God, they're in my ass! Ah! Ah! Shut up your ass, frog! Uh, no, please do not put batteries up your asshole. Thank you. Okay, Kermit the Frog signing out. Hey, good, uh, good pack. That was a lot of great stuff. Excellent. We, I think we saw pretty much all of it. Amazing. Phantom amazing. Really, really good stuff. I'm always down for stuff like that. If anyone wants to make a pack of similar stuff for similar games or whatever, I'm, I'm down for it. I love seeing what people are creating, and I like a curated pack of things that might be fun for the stream. And, uh, you know, stuff that inspires the battery bit is always good by me. So, you know, again, if you want to check out, um, if you want to send some stuff, vinesauce.email is the site you want to go to and fill out the form. But yeah, if you can, you know, if you want to curate stuff and keep it kind of to like a one to two hour long segment, perfect. But, uh, Phantom Amazing, you did great. Thank you everybody for watching. Listen, I know I mentioned some like crusty Russian game that was lost. The truth is it's not real. No, it's real. And I'll show you eventually, but not today. It barely, it barely works. And it probably would provide maybe 10 to 20 minutes of entertainment, if that. But it will happen. At some point, you will see this stupid game. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Chat, I can't thank you enough for being here Sunday after Sunday. If you're a new viewer, if you've been here forever, just know that you genuinely have my thanks and that by you being here, um, it makes the streams better. I have a good time. I enjoy it. You made my life better. And I'll keep doing them. So I appreciate it. And it's, uh, it's very, it's very flattering, especially to see on Sunday, how many people show up here. It's, it's absolutely fucking insane. So, uh, can't thank you enough. And thanks for just giving me a chance or a second chance or whatever it may be. I appreciate it. Um, during the week, we're going to be playing some street fighter six. We're going to be playing. What was the other thing? Katamari. We love Katamari. I'm also going to be checking out, I'm going to try to finish that Slayer's X game, maybe pre-record, and uh, more Zelda as well. So, that's the week. Is there more? God, I don't even know. There's so many games coming out. All right. Yeah, we'll just keep working on Zelda. I don't think I want to play the Gollum game again. Uh, the amnesia game I have, but I'll wait until Halloween. Um, and by the way, anyone who has subbed, I don't say your name out loud. I don't have notifications on the stream on the screen, but I do appreciate it. And, uh, you do not have to do that. I'm doing okay. But for those that continue to do so for the dank emotes, I appreciate it. And, uh, thank you mods as well for all your help always. And that's it, really. So, I'll see you guys later. Good night. And no, this is not me. Sure, this white dude with a little bit of a beard. No, but it's not me. Yes, I'm a little bit envious of the duck. 
you know, like of, I want the duck is what I'm trying to say. It would be nice to have the duck, but whatever. Good night. Hey, pops, does this thing work? No. Beautiful. Give it up, baby. Good night, Jared.